Bears in the house tonight. Got a lot of Bears. Yeah. They're large fellows. Number one overall pick, Caleb Williams, the new Bears quarterback. Had Roma Dunze, the ninth overall pick, wide receiver, thrown out the first pitch before the game today. We got it there on a the fly. That was good. That's all you need, right? How about the Bears offense? It's going to be something special this fall. Mike Clevenger going to the mound, and he would like to keep his pitch count within reason. He's making his fourth start, looking for his first win. ERA a lot higher than he would like. He's walking more guys than he used to, and this is a lineup that you can't afford to walk anybody. Ground ball to second base. Nicky Lopez knows what to do with it. And one down to start the ball game. And here's switch hitting catcher Adley Rutschman. The pitch from Clevenger off speed cutter got him and wiped him out with a breaking ball that he just swung over the top. Now the DH Ryan O'Hearn who hits for power and doesn't strike out a whole lot. The pitch swing and a miss on a cutter for strike three. So a very nice first inning for Mike Clevenger. The Orioles go in order. Grayson Rodriguez making his eighth start of the year making his 31st start of his career. And boy, has he been good since the All-Star break last year. See what he's done this year. Been pretty good. Tommy Pham hits in hard to center. And it'll drop in front of Mullins. Wasting no time for the first hit of the ball game for the Sox. Nicky Lopez bats left-handed. Rodriguez fires. And a fastball popped up on the left side of the diamond. Drifting out to left. Kowser measures it. Now steps forward. He's there. And he makes the play. There's one down. Now he's got to pitch his way out of a big jam here early. Bases loaded for Chicago and one out. It's Paul DeYoung. And he got him. A lot of run on that pitch coming in along the hands of DeYoung. Benatini batting with two down. Bases loaded. Bases loaded. Two outs. And it's ball four. The White Sox get a run. And they're still loaded up as Vaughn goes to third. Sheets now in scoring position. And Benatendi at first. There's Corey Lee. The 2-2. Two -two. Broken bat. Squibber to the first baseman. Mountcastle charges in. Bees Rodriguez crossing over. They get the out at first base to retire this side. It was a lengthy first inning of work for Grayson Rodriguez burning through 30 pitches. Switch hitting Anthony Santander leads off for Baltimore 2-1. He is hit on the ground slowly to Lopez at second. Lots of time and he'll flip to Vaughn. Santander retired one away. Now Jordan Westberg the 0 2 swing and a miss strike three on a cutter that might not have ever been a strike. It was off the outside. It sounded like there were some bluebirds. I'm guessing that's mooing for Kowser right 3 2 is hit in the air out into deep left. Benintendi will make the catch on the warning track. Thank goodness for that wind. Yeah, it left the bat like it was uh, meant to be in the seats. Grayson Rodriguez going to try and bounce back after a first inning where there were some problems with command, leaving some pitches up. That one's hit out to left center. Cedric Mullins going back, and he will run it down. Danny Mendick, the number nine batter. Did he go? You bet he did. Good breaking ball there from Grayson Rodriguez to pick up his second strikeout. Three two pitch coming from Rodriguez. And a much better second inning for Grayson. Back to back punch outs. Ryan Mountcastle batting seventh at first base. Right handed hitter. Floated and that'll drop in for a base hit. Nice job to stay on that breaking ball. Mountcastle shoots it to the opposite field. Bases are loaded for Rutschman and looking for offense. The Orioles have a threat mounted here in the third inning. And that one is ripped out to right field. Fam can't get to this one. It's going to get in Mullins. Mateo is going to hold on. It's just an RBI single as Pham looked like it hit off of his glove. Couldn't catch it, but this game is tied up. Yeah, everybody was waiting to tag up. The bases are still loaded. There's one out in the inning, and O'Hearn, who struck out on a cutter back in the first inning, is batting. 1-2 is bounced off the glove of Clevenger to Lopez. He'll flip to DeYoung to first for two. How about a 1-4-6-3 double play? Yeah, great focus up the middle by Lopez and DeYoung and just like that, Clevenger off the hook with minimal damage. Third inning, Nicky Lopez batting. That change up is going to stay fair. Mountcastle, it's a race to the bag and Rodriguez wins it. Yeah, Grayson just a little bit late getting there. But I mean, he got their partner by a toe now. So without a hit, the White Sox are rallying here with two outs. Benintendi batting. And Benintendi sends that one out to the gap in right center. Sheets, he will come in to score. And DeYoung goes to third. An RBI single for Benintendi. White Sox take a 2-1 lead here in the third. Trying to pitch out of trouble here. One and two pitch. 
And it's a ball run up. It's a call third strike. Runner was going, but a delayed third strike call came, and Grayson gets out of it. Now trail two to one as they come to bat here in the top of the fourth. Hitters four, five, and six. Santander, Westberg, Kowser. That one is ripped out to right field. Fam going back, and this one is out of here. It's a line shot home run for Anthony Santander. And as soon as the White Sox take the lead, the Orioles tie it right back up. Uh, Tony Taters here in the house in the Windy City. That was a bullet, folks. 2-2 two -two game, top four, and here's Cedric Mullins. Mullins hits this one through the right side. There's a base hit. Mount Castle's going to head to third base. So well done by Cedric Mullins. He fought a lot of pitches off from Clevenger, and eventually he was rewarded for his efforts. Very good at bat. Mateo hitting at 253. Two men on the pond. Mount Castle at third. Mullins at first. Mullins goes again, and that is ripped out to left field. It sends Ben and Tendy back, and this one is gone. Off of a two-strike pitch. Jorge Mateo, the latest frozen rope into the seats. It's a weaver, and the Orioles have got the lead. And the pitch counts up. Brandon Hyde would love to get him at least through five and maybe through six. Well, he's late on that fastball. Fifth strikeout that Grayson has picked mm -hmm. up. So here is Nicky Lopez batting second in the order. He hits one to left field. Playable out there for Kowser moving to his right, and he's got it. There's the third out, and Grayson Rodriguez gets safely through four. Grayson Rodriguez facing Andrew Vaughn, Gavin Sheets, and Paul DeYoung. The 2-2. Swing and a miss. No contact made there, and Rodriguez gets the punch out. His sixth on the night. Runner at first, one down, and it's 0-2 on DeYoung. And he put him away. Nice breaking ball there by Rodriguez. Strike the ball. That's how you finish there. That's how you get a hit with two strikes and you finish. Two down with a runner at first, and Benintendi lobs one in the air out to right field. Backing up Santander, a step onto the warning track where he runs it down. Benintendi gives it a ride, but the ballpark's big enough to hold it, and a scoreless fifth inning for the White Sox gets us to the sixth. Mount Castle is two for two, singled in the third, he's singled in the fourth. That's down the right field line. It's going to land fair for Mount Castle. Hits off the sidewall. Mount Castle's going to try for two, and he will make it there. How about that, huh? It's a double. Have a day, Mountie. Three for three. So the bases are loaded for Adley Rutschman. The Orioles trying to add on. That's chipped into short right field. Will this one fall in there? Yes, it will. Mount Castle in. Mateo right behind. It's a soft single, but it allows the Orioles to extend the lead. Seven to two. Austin Hayes is going to pinch hit here for Ryan O'Hearn, the designated hitter batting third. Hayes, a line shot out to left. Come on down, Gunnar Henderson. Austin Hayes with an RBI base knock. And the Orioles keep on working offensively. They get base runners and tonight they have been driving them in. Lee a right handed battery seventh in the order for the White Sox. Swings and strikes him out. Full count pitch swing and a miss he struck him out. Danny Coulomb is pumping strikes and has fanned two batters to start this inning with Danny Mendick coming up. Left handers 0 2 swings and strikes him out. He struck out the side. He gets Lee, Jokes, and Mendick, and that's that. So here is Ryan Mountcastle, three for three tonight. He needed a night like tonight, three hits. And there is number four. That's going to go down the left field line. Ben Intendi tracks it down. He's going to throw it in. Long single for Ryan Mountcastle, a four-hit night. Typically, he's hitting that three, four, five hole. It's hitting in the seven hole, and he is wearing it out down there right now. And he may not want to move after the night. Four for four night, and this one hit right on the barrel. Tommy Pham will bat with two on and nobody out. It's a six-run game. Hits it hard, and it gets through the infield. They're waving in jokes. He will score without a throw. And the White Sox get one here in the ninth. And the key is, there's still nobody out. Yanir Cano on for the 24th time. And he comes into quite a jam. Bases full of Sox with nobody out. Oh, that hits Vaughn. But a run will come in to score. And the tying run comes to the plate. Two home. Bases still loaded. Nobody out. Gavin Sheets puts it in play. And there's a single to right. Fam comes in. They're waving in Lopez. He will score. The 
White Sox trail by two in the ninth. And Steve, there is still nobody out. And now this game is hanging in the balance. Kimbrell loosing with purpose as Cano tries to figure out this ninth inning. Four home for the White Sox in this inning, and there's out number one. And your Cano stares Deloach back to the dugout. Brandon Hyde on a march to the mound. He'll summon Craig Kimbrell out of the bullpen. And intending his career 0 for 2 against Kimbrell with two strikeouts. And there's a mile high pop up. Infield fly rule is called. Gunnar Henderson has got it. And Junior Valentine, I think we're saying this is a double play? Yeah, what happened here? I wonder when Henderson had to juke step around Andrew Vaughn, the runner at second, if the umpires now are wondering about interference or did Henderson brush the runner as well? By hooker, by crook, the Orioles have won this game 8-6 to six on as strange of a finish as you will ever see in a major league game. Well, third base.